Today we're going to talk about the Ultrasil Day Pack by Sea to Summit. At 2.5 ounces or 72 grams, this teeny tiny little bag can expand all the way up to a 20 liter carrying capacity. That means you can use it for a lot of things on your travels. Now this bag comes with a little carabiner that you can use to clip to your belt loop or your bag if you'd like to, as well as it has a secondary strap that you can use just to clip it to other things if you have an S-clip or something to the effect of that on your bag already. Now, this is the bag itself, so this is Ultrasil. It is waterproof, but only up to a certain extent. So let's get to unpacking this so we can show you what it looks like. And I'll go throw some stuff in it too so I can put it on my back and show you what it looks like when it's actually got some shape. All right, so here's what this thing looks like now that it's kind of all full of stuff. You can tell from the onset here again, there's a couple of other little straps that you can use to, uh, to hook stuff onto, bike lights, other things to the effect of that. There is a little strap at the top too that you would expect. You can use that to hang it up on something. If you had some wet clothes, needed it to dry, etc. you can just put it up on a line. Uh, it's also got some adjustables that you can use to kind of tighten the shoulder straps. That's kind of a given. And then um, stuff inside. So let's show you what I got in here. So you can see here it's got two zips. So the two zips actually allow us to open from the top rather than having to chase the zipper all the way to the side every time. And inside of here I've got an Eros pillow, also by Sea to Summit. Got a bottle of water. Obviously this thing can hold some weight. And that's what we want to make sure of. And then I've got another Ultrasil Day Pack. Bad exception. Uh, we've got my little sweatshirt that I can use in case I get cold while I'm hiking up there. Habiba's sweatshirt in case she gets cold. <laughs> in case. Habiba's camera body. This is just to prove that we've put stuff in here that we actually care about. It's not like we're just putting soft pack things in here. And uh, this bag hasn't let us down at all yet. And then last but not least, another sweatshirt. Because the baby's gonna get cold. <laughs> there you go. So that's what we got in the bag. Now, again, being ultra sill, in this case, it's, it's waterproof to a point, right? You're not gonna go dunk this underwater. But uh, you will eventually start to get some to the contact sort of moisture coming through. So uh, if you needed to bring another day or another wet bag with you or something to the effect of that to put in here, if you're really gonna be going out in the rain, uh, that might not be a bad idea. All right, and with that, we'll pack this bag back up. Now, the little part of the bag that we're familiar with is actually on the inside of the bag. So just reach inside, grab that, and then literally just like a stuff sack, just start stuffing stuff in there and stuff. There you go. If you found this video to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and check out our channel for some other videos that you might find to be helpful. I'm Alex, and we are Trekking Pals.